What is good guys, we're here with Brofus vs Gondra for SPL 9 week 1. Uh, Brofus team is uh, pretty like easy to break down, it's gonna be AD Megina, I assume Scarf Katana, probably Spikes Ash Gren, it's pretty similar to a team that a man Ultra Bolts made, the RMT. The only difference is he has, instead of Lele Zem, he has Midgem and Ladi. So the thing here is he cannot fake out because I think Mega Galate cannot get flinched, right? That's how it works. Yeah, that's his ability. Um, on Gondra's side, I assume it has to be defensive Lando because he's pretty weak to Zygarde. Those three mons all get hit by Thousand Arrows super effectively. So just go for uh, Zen Headbutt, I assume? Yup. And I don't know if I like Gondra's SD play there. He knew he could live with Zen Headbutt. This, this probably doesn't have Bullet Punch. So this should be fine for Gondra. Uh, if Brofus has Helmet Lando, he can go to death here and kill the Galate with um, chip damage from Helmet. If he doesn't have helmet, he has to um, sack something and then revenge the Galade with either Greninja or Kartana or Lari. Okay, as he ice punches, um, basically he was that would have probably killed the Medicham and it would have killed the, the Lando and the Lari. Uh, he went into Lari there, predicting as an headbutt, I assume. Also, this game does not matter for, for the outcome of the series, so it's just gonna be a fun game. Um, the other games that do matter, I record some of them live and um, expect them in the next days. So, this is... I think Gunner wants to save this Galate. I think he's gonna go Rotom on Megina here. So, um, I would definitely consider spiking here from Brofist or uh, maybe Hydro Pumping. Because, like, yeah. Hydro Pump would do some chip at least to Megina and um, like, yeah, I, th I think he was going Megina over Rotom even though I said both are options. But Spike is a completely fine play. It makes sense that he wants to keep the Galade and the Galade now dies unless he defox with the Landorus. So doubles into Rotom that covers the Lando. Oh this might oh this might also be defog Rotom. So defog would be on Lando, yeah. Uh, now this is a uh, free volt switch for for Brofist here. I don't think Gondra would go into his Lando. Actually, hmm. Let me see. No, nah, Flurken. Flurken is fine here for Brofist, actually, yeah. I think Flurken is completely fine here, just in case he, you are worried about the Lando coming out on the on the Volt Switch, then you can Flurken. As he does, Volt Switch. Um, I didn't think Gunner would actually risk his Lando, but he did and it works out. So now, if it's defensive Lando, I don't even know if Earthquick kills this, but I assume Brofist might go um, to his lander or to his um, huh. to his lander or medicham? Yeah, lander makes more sense. I was gonna say medicham, but then what if he earthquakes? So lander makes a bit more sense. You now Gara makes a nice U-turn play there, knowing that um, just in case earthquake doesn't kill the Megina, he knows if he's defensive lander. I think that doesn't kill. Then he could have U-turned out into his um, Rotom or to his own Megina or yeah to his own Megina or to his Magnus on the obvious Flurken unless Brofus would have picked it and Volt switched. So if I'm Gondra here, I would uh, probably go for Volt switch or Defog, depending on what his move set is. Um, I assume Brofist is gonna hard switch into his Megina or he's gonna go for U-turn. If he's confident that he outspeeds the Rotom, he can go for U-turn here. But yeah, um, I think Brofist is on the uh, on the bigs and. Gondra is on the was I, I don't will look up after the game. It's Hydro a Z-move Rotom, okay. That's really interesting. I didn't expect that. I was actually thinking that the Z-move is on Zygarde or Magnus Zone. So AV Megina eats that up completely, does absolutely nothing. Um I think the set sometimes runs HP Fire. It's like offensive Rotom. HP Fire, Z Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, and Defog. Yeah. It does reveal the Defog there. I think that's the set. I don't know if Finch made it, but I've heard Finch used it. Um, I actually don't know who made this set. But yeah, now Medichim just comes out here and... Gondra might sack off his Galate. Oh, what, what is Rotom good for? Like, Rotom doesn't even check anything well besides it's a water resist. I guess go Lando, but that's a bit risky because... Um, no, that, that works out fine for him, okay. I thought that was risky in case Brofist Ice Punch is there. Um... But it makes sense to high jump kick just in case Gunner wants to sack the Rotom. Now Ice Punch might be a roll from here, I'm not actually sure about that. So he does pivot into zone and Brofist expertly predicts that. So yeah, um 
that was that was like a super obvious like I didn't like talk about it, but it was a super obvious pivot um, into a steel tap on a on a ice move. I was actually a more I would have actually expected the Megina to come out, not the zone. But him going zone there makes me think that his zone was scarf because he could have taken the ice punch and then he could have volt switched or um, yeah, like he could have like volt switched and then gone back to land, or like he could have played around the Medicham that way. Um, I guess the reason why he didn't go into Magina was because he wants that healthy for the Greninja. So Galate just got a kill with close combat. Uh, Brofist went into Greninja there, anticipating the ice punch, um, expecting Gonor to expect the lander to come out. So that training kills the left and right. This is a fun game for sure. And now Medicham comes out and Medicham clicks. Ice punch here, I would assume. You don't want to risk missing high jump kick for no reason. Yup. Landorus goes down. As you guys can see earlier, um, it would have died as well. Uh, that's, that was a crazy game. <laughs> now, I don't know how... Yeah, Gondra just loses, right? As long as this... Like, Medi comes back later and clicks high jump kick on Rotom or on Megina and gets killed. He clicks ice punch on Zygarde. Obviously, um... Galate cannot kill the Medicham. It might be smart for Brofist to switch out because Medicham does destroy Gondor completely at this point. So it might be smart to keep it at full. Um, in case um, the Zygarde is like banned at E speed, you want to stay out of range from that. Just something like that. Mm -hmm. So I think you can go into. Does this have Ice Punch? It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Gondor is kind of forced to go for Zen Headbutt here if he has that. Also, um, Gondra not having having Ice Punch over Knockoff most likely means he's kind of weak to Mew, which I'm surprised. But he goes for the flinch, okay. Yeah, like, like I said, he was forced to go for Zen Head, but like he wasn't. He no, no, my bad. He wasn't necessarily going for the flinch. Zen Head was his best move to hit the Medicham, but for some reason I just thought, oh, Zen Head, but he's going for the flinch. Obviously, it does have the secondary chance, and he was hoping for the flinch. Um, I mean, Brofist. Yeah, okay, Brofist play was fine because um, Scarf Katana also puts in a lot of work. Like he doesn't need Medicham to win, but I feel like he could have he could have switched out into Landris there because I feel Gondra Gondra was forced to Zen Headbutt there because Medicham is this one big problem for him that he cannot beat, so there was no way he could predict the Landris in that scenario. So that's why I felt like he could have switched out, but it works out perfectly fine. He did not get flinched. Um, he does a lot to the Megina with high jump kick at minus one. So he's just bringing Megina in range. If he missed that, it would have been bad. But he, now the Megina is in range. Uh, obviously, the opposing Megina would not have been a big deal because he has his own AV Megina. And he does have uh, a Lando. And now, because Lando deals with a Zygarde, right? A Zygarde would be the one that threatens uh, Brofist's Megina, but then he has a Lando to deal with that. So it's completely fine. It's toxic, so it's probably banded. Um... U-turns out, Katana now just spams Leaf Blade. Oh, it's leftover, it's not banned, okay. Mm, so it could be Toxic Protect sub-1000 arrows, I don't know. You usually see that set paired with, and you see it with Dragon Dance and then Toxic Spikes and another one. I guess it could be Toxic Coil sub-1000 arrows, I'm not sure about this set. Don't, he has these up, okay, I thought this would be Scarf, it's not Scarf. So this is, um, Z-Move Katana then. The, the, oh, my bad guys. The Ladias is obviously the Scarfer. That was that was so obvious. I feel super dumb now. <laughs> so now he's just gonna leaf blade here. Or Z pummeling, okay. Um, and the game just ends right because the Megina dies to a Sacred Sword or a Leaf Blade. Obviously, yeah, I forgot it's that low. This dies to a plus three Leaf Blade. If it doesn't die, it also cannot kill this. Yup, I don't think that crit mattered. And yeah, obvious. Um, basically, what I did wrong here at Team Preview is. Since he has a Medicham, uh, now he just clicks Psychic Sword and wins the game. Let me just let him click the move and then I'll talk about what I... So it was super obvious. When you have a Medicham, it's obvious that the Medicham is Mega. Um, so the Ladi is obviously not Mega, the Ladi has to be Scarf. Which means that Scarf Healing Wish is just uh, nice on a team like this. If you Megina, if your AV Megina gets wore down, uh, if your Landris gets overwhelmed, if the opposing team has multiple physical attackers to overwhelm your Landris, you can then Healing Wish it back. Um, so I feel really dumb for not for not see, saying that a team preview uh, or like when we, when the recording started I think I missed team preview, but uh, um, yeah, so it was it was super obvious from the start of the game that either the Greninja or the Katana had to be Z move because the Ladi, non Mega Ladi usually you only see its scarf um, with healing wish support, 
um, which can be pretty cool on teams like this. But yeah, it was a fun game. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, this game didn't matter, like I said, it's more of a... I just recorded this for the fun. And the other games that I have, um, yeah, some I have to re-narrate. Because I'm on, I'm on like four hours sleep. I'm super dead, but I just had to record this one live. And I mean, with re-narrate, I mean I have the screen recorded, and I just have to re-narrate over the screen. So it will be as if it's live for you guys. You will have to smock this chat. It's not gonna be replay. I know replay is not that interesting. Uh, let me see if there's any other games going on, but I don't think so. And yeah, the bigs um, that John's team. I think they won the series. Um, but let me check real quick which team gone was on one second. Uh, Gondra is on the Raiders, okay, so we have, I can just tell you some matches that I recorded, P um, TDK's game versus EO, um, Black Oblivion's game versus Zomok, uh, X-Ray's game versus Jinji, I have some fire games, and yeah, then I have like a lot of lower tier, my man Ultraboss is gonna help me out with that, you already know what it is, thank you guys for watching, hope you all enjoyed, I mean this was just, teams like these are like fun because the game, the game is like fast, like both, like this is like bulky offense, I guess. I would call it bulky offense, yeah. Like both teams were not really like super fat. They had like their defensive checks, but they're mostly offensive. So this was really fun to watch. So yeah, um, cool game. And goodbye. <laughs>